I'm Crypto Pio, this is Escape Velocity, and today we're doing an artist profile on one of my favorite NFT artists, Tom Yu. He's been very prolific thus far and was very early on Nifty Gateway, being the third ever drop on the platform. He's coming out with his fifth drop this evening, and it's also the first drop that he's putting out that has open editions in it. I think this is going to be a huge drop for Tom Yu. I think it's going to very much so be his coming out party in a way, because I predict that this drop will generate over a million dollars in total revenue. I think that a lot of Tom Yu's NFTs that are currently available on the Nifty Gateway marketplace are actually very undervalued, even though they've appreciated quite a bit from what their original drop prices were. I'm going to go into that and we'll take a look at some of the pieces that Tom Yu has already dropped and we'll take a look at tonight's drop. So Tom Yu is a multidisciplinary artist that's most known for his physical sculptures of Nike sneakers made out of Legos. He's been featured in Complex, Hypebeast, High Snobiety, and definitely has a reputation in the sneakerhead community and the NFT community alike. Many of his pieces have very reputable collectors like the Cock Foster Twins, the Winklevoss Twins, and every collector's favorite whale, 888. There's also an inherent scarcity to Tom Yu's work because the majority of his drops were put out in 2020 and they were packs and drawings. As I mentioned before, no open editions. Even his early 2021 drop didn't have any open editions in it. As a result, there's very low mint numbers for a lot of his pieces and some of his pieces came out so early that they didn't even sell out. So even even one, for example, Icy that I'm going to talk about later was meant to be an edition of 30, but 17 were burned because they weren't purchased. I think from an artwork perspective, his pieces contain really cool pop culture references, starting with, you know, sneaker stuff like Nike, Jordan, Yeezy, but then also things like vintage movies like Back to the Future musicians like Travis Scott, and of course, Legos as well. Physical sneakers and Legos are big time collector's items, and I believe that the collectors of physical sneakers and Legos haven't gotten to the NFT space yet. This is one of the reasons that I think that Tom Yu doesn't get as much hype as he should. When sneakerheads and Lego collectors come around to the fact that digital assets are the same things as physical collectibles, I predict Tom Yu to be one of the artists that they really target with their purchases. When they find out that a bunch of stuff came out in 2020 that's super scarce, super low mint count, and features Lego sneakers and Nike, I think that's pretty good. Another reason I think Tom Yu is a little bit slept on is because he's not as active on social media as other artists are. You see artists like Trevor Jones and Dot Pigeon really building social media communities, utilizing Twitter, utilizing Discord, and actually introducing things like private members lounges where you have to verify that you're a confirmed collector of their pieces to be invited, planning events, doing marketing campaigns after drops, really cool stuff, and Tom Yu isn't as active on that front. And in my opinion, he shouldn't have to be. I think an artist's work should speak for itself. I think the quality of the work should determine how valuable the piece is to collectors, and we shouldn't depend on social media marketing when valuing an artist's work. Having said that, Tom Yu does have a pretty robust Instagram following, over 20,000 followers. He just started Twitter, only has about 100 or less followers right now, so I'm predicting that as these social media platforms grow, so will the interest in his work. Let's take a quick look at the marketplace and some of his previous drops. So here's his first drop. We have an addition of one on this Air Yeezy 2. We have an addition of two on this Air Jordan 1, one of which is for sale for 35 grand. None for sale in the edition of five. Addition of 15 on the Air Jordan 4, $7,000 floor. And then these Air Jordan 11 Concords, I actually think they're relatively underpriced. I think that with a global offer of 1400 bucks, these could be yours. I mean, the mint number five out of 50 right here is 1823. That's definitely a good price. I'm back, Tom Yu's second drop. I own this Air Max 90. I got it from Paper Hands for 1250. Air Max 90 infrareds are a super big cult following sneaker. Sneakerheads are all about this sneaker. There was a period of time in my life where I worked at Nike Town and I didn't know that much about sneakers and all of the employees went crazy when Nike dropped the infrareds again. So these were something that I had my eye on. A lot of Tom Yu's drops though, the grapes too right here, the Air Jordan 5 grapes, maybe even more so than the Air Max 90 in terms of cult following. These are like, you know, big time signature sneakers if you're a sneakerhead. So I have to imagine that at some point the sneakerheads are going to come to NFTs and connect with Tom Yu. 
three peat right here. I love this drop. This has that piece icy that I talked about. Fun fact about icy: two of the owners of the 13 mints of icy are the Winklevoss twins, and a third one is my homie J Coin that I'm going to be doing a NFT freestyle with tonight, where we talk about Tom Yu and realistically, one of us or both of us is going to buy some Tom Yu stuff that he's dropping tonight. I love the Cactus Jack. I love the Chunky Donkey. It's ridiculous. And I love the OG, and I'm surprised to see the OG being available for 1666 because that means you can probably put a global offer out and get it from Paper Hands for maybe 1300 bucks, which is a big uh, increase from what its market price was. Let's take a quick look here at its market price. It was $75, so a massive, massive increase in terms of alpha. But still, it's Tom Yu, it's sneakers, it's Legos, it's scarce, it's from 2020, it's the third artist to ever drop on Nifty Gateway. This drop, his last one, is incredibly undervalued. Everything's under a thousand bucks. All the open editions coming out these days, for the most part, are $750, $1,000, and they're gonna be 400 mints. There's 125 mints of this plastic mag. It has a Back to the Future reference, it has Lego Nike on top of it. It's owned by the Cock Foster Twins. It's owned by people like 888. There's a lot of positive going on here and I just genuinely think that Tom Yu's recent stuff is slept on, flat out. I mean, Back to the Future has a huge cult following. But when the Back to the Future fans come and they want to buy every single NFT that's Back to the Future related and they find out back in 2020 there was this notable artist that put it out you know, on Nifty Gateway. He was the one of the earliest artists on the platform. You kind of get the point. So let's look at his drop for tonight. I love it. I think that this is so sick. Sneakers hanging on the uh, you know the electric cable. I love it. The power line, I should say, not the electric cable. It's so sick. Um, we've got yeah, all of them are uh, moving. They're all you know like 3D or, or video, however you want to put it. Super Mario reference, reference to Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, reference to Bitcoin, holding a Bitcoin in the hand, and then of course a pair of dunks on his feet. So awesome. A little bit of a, a New York City reference, I think, right here. We've got the, the pigeon and the sneaker. You know, it, it's a no-brainer. I'm a huge, huge Tom Yu guy, and I'm very curious to see how this uh, drop performs. And my prediction is that it's going to be a seven-figure drop. If this isn't a seven-figure drop, then something's wrong, I think. So all in all, I think that Tom Yu is a very undervalued, underappreciated artist on Nifty Gateway, even though his stuff has performed incredibly well. I think his lack of social media presence may contribute to that, even though it shouldn't. I'm a huge fan of his work. Uh, I hope that I get to interview him at some point because I'm such a big fan, and I think that I'd be able to ask him questions that he would appreciate as a sneakerhead, a Lego guy, and an NFT artist. This is Escape Velocity. I'm Crypto PO. As usual, thanks for watching. I'll be raffling off one one NFT to one of my 500 subscribers once my YouTube channel hits 500 subscribers. So please like, please subscribe, please comment. And I'm working on a Twitter giveaway as well. So keep on following, keep watching the videos. See ya.